Hey Bob, I wanted to show you how to adjust the size of the buttons in Azacap. And I'm going to enable one of my cameras. There it is, I'm looking out a window again at a tree. Now, if you come up to the top right here, this little gear button, it's called setting. Go ahead and click that. Then in settings, there's a section called scaling. Under manually resize of text, windows, and other items, there's a drop box that has 100% selected. Go ahead and click that and drop down to about 125%. That's what I like to use. It's going to ask you to restart the program after you select that. Hit OK. Then close the setting. Then close the program. Restart as a cap. And you notice the buttons are bigger. And we can make them even bigger. Let's go back up to the gear button at the top right. I'm going to select 300% this time. OK. I'm going to close setting, close the program, restart as a cap. And holy heck, look at that. That is really big settings. Look how tiny my view is. That's hilarious. Okay, that is hard to work with, so I'm going to go back to 125%. Actually, I can also do this. I can hit Enable Automatic Resizing of Text, Windows, and Other Items by enabling this checkbox here, and this will make it... I'm going to click OK after this little pop-up happens. This is going to make it so that this percentage that I have selected is irrelevant. It's just going to make it an automatic size that it thinks is best for my screen. So I'm going to close the program, I'm going to restart the program, and here's its automatic sizing that it thinks is good for my resolution. I'm going to go back to the default settings now. I'm going to disable that checkbox. I'm going to drop it back to 100%. I've hit the OK button to say that I'm going to restart the program. I'm going to close this close the program, restart as a cap, and hey, everything's back to normal. There you go. I hope that helps. Good luck.